Shaping is a technique used in constraint-induced movement therapy that is derived from part-task practice. Shaping tasks are usually set to target the person's specific motor impairments and the shaping tasks are generally made progressively more difficult as the person improves throughout their CIMT program. Ways to shape an activity include adjusting the load, for example, adjusting the weight of the object to challenge strength, adjusting the size of the object to challenge dexterity, or increasing the influence of gravity to challenge strength. Another way to shape an activity is to challenge speed. Some examples include increasing the number of repetitions to complete in the same amount of time, measuring the amount of time taken to complete the same task with the aim of reducing how long it takes to complete, or increasing the amount of time the task is carried out for to challenge endurance. A third way to shape an activity is to change the object position. For example, placing an object further away to challenge range of movement, or raising the height of an object to challenge strength. For example, reaching from a standing position, then a seated position. Only one shaping parameter at a time should be varied. First up, we have Scott. Scott is a 40-year-old father of two who recently sustained a traumatic brain injury. So what I'm going to get you to do is you can see these nuts and bolts here. Tighten them. One by one, I'm going to get you to tighten them up using your index finger and your thumb. I'm going to see how many you can do in 30 seconds. Yep. I'm going to get you to do this activity 10 times mm -hmm. and then we will see how you go with each, each one. one. Yep. yep. Ready, Scott? Yeah, I'm ready. And go. Good, next one. And stop. Very good. So we're going to do that one now again a second time. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. And go. Keep it in contact with the bolt. It's the way. Okay, and stop. That's now 10 of that one, Scott. Excellent. You've done really well. Thank you. So I think now this time we're going to increase the difficulty of the task. Uh -huh. So we're right. going to move on to these nuts and bolts that are a little bit smaller. Awesome. Okay. You ready? Yep. And go. Eight seconds to go. Okay, and stop. Well, well done, Scott. Harder. So three and a half that time. Good job. For well, the next time, mm -hmm. um, really concentrate on trying to keep these three fingers tucked out in way. out of the way. So really twisting and keeping the contact with your index finger. Okay, Scott, so today we're going to progress uh, your shaping activity. We're going to make it more challenging today with the smaller ones. Concentrating on keeping your thumb and index finger in contact with the nut as you're turning them. Go. Keep them in contact, not just spinning it. And stop. Well done, Scott. Three that time, very good. And the quality of your movement on the second one once I gave you some feedback was much better. I was trying hard. Well done. Next up we have Bridget. Bridget is a 53 year old stroke survivor. Bridget had her stroke three years ago. All right, Bridget, well, good to see you again today. Uh, today we're going to be working on your constraint-induced movement therapy program, and we're going to start with some shaping uh, activities. What we're going to do, I'm going to get you to place these blocks um, into the bowl, one by one, concentrating on bringing your thumb around the side of the block um, so that you've got really good contact. 
You'll have 30 seconds to do as many as you can, uh, but it's more important to focus on the quality of the movement um, and the rotation of your thumb than trying to go really quickly. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. are you ready to go? Yeah. And go. That's the way. Okay, and stop. All right, well done. Okay, I'm just going to write that down. All right, Bridget, so you're familiar with this exercise. We are working on it the other day. Um, today, we're going to make it a little bit more challenging for you. So I've placed a block underneath your uh, bowl here, which is your target for putting the blocks into. Uh, so you're going to have to really reach a little bit more from your shoulder to let go of the blocks. Okay. Right. Are you ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's go. Eight. I'm still eight. Eight, but to a much higher height than last time, so that's really well done. And finally, we have Bill. Bill is a 68-year-old stroke survivor. Bill sustained his stroke two years ago. Hi, Bill. Uh, so today, we're continuing your CIMT program. I'm going to start off with a shaping task. So for this task, you've got to pick up the spoon with yep. your left hand scoop up beans, transfer them over, pour them into the other bowl. And I'm going to time you doing five of them. Right. Try your best to not drop any beans. <laughs> All okay. right, I'll do my best. <laughs> yeah. You ready? Ready, set, go. Well done, stop there. No beans <laughs> dropped. That's 26 seconds and 56. This time, try and focus on turning your wrist here as well. So you're doing good scooping here, but turn your wrist to drop the beans. I'm going to swap this bowl and put a jar here. And so the same thing, you've just got to be more accurate in dropping the beans into the jar. You ready? Yep. Get set, go. Work. Good, no beans dropped, keep going. <laughs> go, 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 go. Ah. Yeah, that's all right, 30 <laughs> seconds, well done. So now that you've done this a fair few times and you've been doing really well, I'm gonna make it a little bit harder again and we'll swap the beans out for rice. <laughs> Try your best, so remember to scoop and turn your wrist to uh, mm. put the rice in the jar. You ready? Yep. Get set, go. Four, one more. Great job, 37. <laughs> so in summary, shaping activities should be designed as part practice to target the person's specific motor impairments. The tasks that are set should usually be somewhere between 30 seconds and two minutes in duration. And each shaping activity should have the parameters adjusted during the program to gradually increase the level of challenge for the CIMT participant.